What's up everybody, this is Brandon with Premier Guitar. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today checking out this Positron Collider from Mythos Pedals. Uh, Mythos Pedals is based right here in Nashville, Tennessee uh, by a guy named Zach Broyles. He's a great guy, I know him personally. And um, he's really excited to, to bring this one out. Um, he's got some other pedals out there you should check out. But this is his newest uh, addition to his line. Uh, the Positron Collider is very obviously based on his, Zach's personal favorite movie since he was a kid, and that's Ghostbusters. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the little box they carry around with them everywhere to suck ghosts into. Is that right, Chris? Yes, sir. Okay. I haven't seen it in a long time, and Zach, forgive me. Um, so this is basically... Um, the circuit is based on a ram's head muff, uh, but to not pigeonhole it to just being a clone of a muff, he did some mods and then he added uh, basically a secondary tone stack right here, um, just kicks everything up a notch, um, just a second voice on top of the initial muff. That's what I kind of turned it on and off there so you could hear the difference uh, during some of those chord changes. Um, but yeah, what we have here is uh, this is the focus is just the volume. Uh, the intensity controls the gain. Uh, here's our treble control, our bass control, and then this is a clipping uh, selector. On the right, it's stock, and on the left, oop, <laughs> stay put. On the left, it's LED clipping, which is uh, very loud, uh, but awesome. So yeah, the, the added tone stack is called, he calls it the total protonic reversal foot switch. Uh, it elevates your output and it shifts the voicing a little bit. And that's all the controls on that bad boy. Uh, so let's just jump back in and have some fun. I'm gonna put it back on stock clipping. I'm turning the intensity to noon. I had the intensity at like two o'clock right there in the beginning. Uh, and the tone, I think I, it's hard to see the marker on the top of these knobs, but I'm pretty sure I had the treble down quite a bit. No, I had it up quite a bit and the bass right around noon. So I'm gonna put them both at noon and see what that gives us. Uh, again, some clean tonage. Let's see. Fuzz. See what the tone stack thing does with just like an open E like that. Really cool when you kick in that second voice. Um, if you're like, I guess you could use the left side as just your rhythm, if you're just in a really cool, intense, loud band, and then kick on that right side for uh, the next level, you know what I'm saying? So let's uh, turn it back on and let's see the difference between the LED and stock. I'll play something simple so we can hear what it's doing. Sure, so stock again. LED. I wanted to see how long that would sustain. I think it will go a lot longer if I was pressing down a little bit harder. Um, got a lot of sustain, as with a muff. 
Uh, I'm gonna put it back on stock. Let's turn the intensity all the way up and just see how crazy it gets. Uh, this is just the left side by itself uh, without the right. Uh, LED this time. Yeah, the LED is definitely almost twice as loud. Did it clip? No, it might have clipped. Oh, it's okay. Sizzling. Yeah, it's sizzling. Uh, if I got any digital distortion there, I'm sorry, guys. It really pushed my amp harder, uh, which in turn pushed the mic and then pushed the preamp. And uh, so, my apologies if it was a little too loud. That LED does come with a warning in the box. It says LED is very loud, and he was not <laughs> kidding. Um, but yeah, I mean, very simple pedal, uh, very fun to use, very musical fuzz. If you're a Muff fan. This would be a great uh, collection to your edition. If you don't have a muff, then you got two in one, sort of. Um, yeah, really great work, Zach. Um, I'll, I don't want to cut it off quite yet, so let me pull the intensity down a little bit, and uh, I'll just play around, play around a little bit more and uh, see what this thing sounds like. What's going on right now is I turn the bass way up and the treble down just to see how gnarly it can get. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Oh uh, man. Man, I could play this thing for a lot longer, but uh, I'm going to cut that off right there. This thing is a lot of fun. This is the Positron Collider from Mythos. And uh, thanks again for tuning in to Premiere Guitar. Uh, we got more videos coming your way. Um, yeah, always new content. So, yeah, keep an eye out. And until next time, peace.